Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. Okay, heist movie, heist, heist, baby. Mm. Sorry, this is my kind of made into a heist week, but I loved Inside Man, the winner of our heist poll so much that I decided to watch the runner up and second runner up. So I watched A Fish Called Wanda, which was so fun. And now I'm watching Sneakers and the overall consensus of the comments for this movie was so underrated. I love a hidden gem. I know this has Robert Redford in it and it has a heist. That's all I know. This was a YouTube members poll and so far I've loved the winners. The one that was in fourth place was the Thomas Crown Affair. And I'm sure I'll get to that one day because I do love a good heist. I love when a brilliant plan comes together. So here we are with sneakers. I know it's December. Can't only watch Christmas movies. Maybe because I've already seen a lot of the very best ones. What's your guys' favorite Christmas movie? I feel like I have to watch The Santa Claus with Tim Allen every Christmas. That is maybe the most nostalgic for me. I always watch The Family Stone, Elf, and I love Love Actually, The Holiday. Tell me your favorites below. Actually, I watched The New Grinch with my kids and Klaus. And I actually really liked both of those animated ones. Those were some new ones. And I watched It's a Wonderful Life on the channel. That will be a classic for me and my family from now until forever. And same with the Muppet Christmas Carol, which was so fun that I watched last year on the channel. So go check out those Christmas movie reactions if you haven't yet to get you in the Christmas mood, but also tell me your favorite Christmas movie in the comments. Okay, let's watch Sneakers. Quick reminder, if you wanna join my Patreon, there's a classic Christmas movie poll going on right now, as well as full-length reactions, early access, and a very fun community of movie lovers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Here we go. Sneakers, 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 sneakers. Robert Redford. Coincidence that I'm wearing my Brad Pitt quilt, and obviously he's a distant relative of Robert Redford. December 1969. Dan Aykroyd, that's right, he's in this. I watched him in um, Trading Spaces last Christmas. River Phoenix. What did we just do? The Republican Party just made a generous donation to the Black Panthers. Richard Nixon's personal checking account is in here. Marty, we have to find somebody truly worthy to give his money to. The National Association of Legalized Marijuana. <sighs> you are sure we will not get into trouble for this? Trust me. This seems like something you would definitely get into trouble for, no? I just wish we could get course credit for this. Gosh! You want some food? Loser goes. Are they playing with pretend money? Uh... Maybe they're for them? Wait, Marty is is Robert Redford? That was a that was young Robert Redford. We're up. <laughs> Wait. Okay, mother. Try the ones coming off the blue trunk. Try the ones coming off the white trunk, mother. These don't sound right. Hey, Grease. Were you still on CIA in '72? Yeah. Why? Did you know the deputy director of planning was down in Managua, Nicaragua the day before the earthquake? Now what are you saying? The CIA caused the Managua earthquake? Well, I can't prove it, but... <laughs> Hold on, Mother. Go back one. Bingo! What is... Preparing to sever master alarm circuit. Oh, we're heisting right now. Getting too old for this. Probably a false alarm. We've been getting them in your area all night. Are you sure you know what 
first one to cut? Yes. The alarm's always the green one. Good girl. Oh, it uh, stopped. No problem. And, uh, son? Sir? Good work. <gasps> you sit on it. How much do you want? 100000 May I ask why you're closing your account with us today, sir? Well, I just had this weird feeling that my money wasn't safe here anymore. There's a lot of moving parts here. Your communication lines are vulnerable. Your fire access need to be monitored. Your rent-a-cops are a tad under-trained. You'll be getting our full report and analysis in a few days. But first, who's got my check? People hire you to break into their places to make sure no one can break into their places. It's a living. Not a very good one. Is that him? Oh, yeah. That's him. Wait a second. We've got customers. Shoes? Expensive. We're busy, guys. Wait, so that whole thing wasn't an actual bank robbery? Most firms of this type are staffed with ex-law enforcement types, but, but your team, it's, uh... I know, kind of different. Oh, his smile so cute. 18 months of Dunamore for breaking and entering. Yeah, he was framed. Carl Arbogast, age 19, caught breaking into the Oakland City School District computer, changed his grades. I know, we're the ones who caught him. Erwin Emery, also known as Whistler. He had some little problem with the phone company. 62 count. Okay, you want law enforcement? How about Donald Kreese, a veteran of the CIA? Terminated in 1987. Maybe a personality conflict. Who are you guys? Who are you guys? Then there's Martin Bishop. He doesn't seem to have a past. I don't work for the government. We know. National Security Agency. You're the guys I hear breathing on the other end of my phone. No, that's the FBI. We're not chartered for domestic surveillance. Mm, yeah. Yet. We're the good guys, Marty. Can't tell you what a relief that is, Dick. If you change your mind, call us at this number, Mr. Bryce. Ooh. So they did catch him back then. Want some coffee or something? No. Janik Spot. This is a mathematician named Dr. Gunther Janik. Last month, the good doctor gets a grant. $380,000. It's our job to be curious, so we trace the money. Guess where it comes from? I know you're not going to say Russia. Yeah. Are we still spy on them. They still spy on us. <laughs> we were in Paris last week. Yeah, making some kind of box. Black box. Project's called C-Tech Astronomy. It may be nothing, or it may be something. And your job is to find that little black box. Let us take a look at it. No way. We don't have a lot of choice here. You've managed to stay underground for more than 20 years. That tells us you know how not to get caught. Job pays 175,000 payable on delivery. Pass. We also clean up your record, quash the outstanding warrant for your arrest. Guys, I've got 12 years. We all know what happened to Cause. him in there. What happened to him in there? I'm sorry, but when you're wanted by the feds, you don't exactly go around telling everybody. Why don't we are your partners? You tell us. Exactly why was it you had to leave the CIA? We all have our little secrets, don't we? Sneaking a foreign intelligence service that might kill us to keep us out is not what we the do. The probable level of security is very low. Ooh. I can't speak for the other guys. I'm in it for the money. I don't care if you go to jail. Neither. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Could we maybe just go back to the, they, they, they might kill us part. There is a risk. He's $175,000. I'm in. You guys will be chalk outlines without me. <laughs> He's in. Who oh, cool. oh, is that guy? Oh. Now this guy's giving a lecture tomorrow at UC. In the afternoon, I'm gonna be there and check him out. Do you wanna take Whistle or do you want me to go in? It's okay, I thought I'd ask Liz. Who's Liz? Who's this? Sort of an old friend. Practice? 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 We're not getting back together. Did I say anything? You will. Liz, I need your help. I will not be dragged back into your world. There's a mathematician named Gunter Janik. You know him? Well, he's giving a master lecture at 3.30 now. How nice for him. What is their history? This isn't a date, dummy. This is a scientific... Dummy? <laughs> I need you to explain it to me. Read a book. They found me, Liz. They offered me a deal. If I take their offer, they clear my record and I can get my name back. Government's basically blackmailing him, aren't they? You and I are not getting back together. Hey, don't flatter yourself. Pick me up at three. There exists an intriguing possibility for a far more... Elegant approach. I know that guy too. This isn't just about large number theory, it's about cryptography. You mean codes? I mean unbreakable codes. No one has been able to accomplish such constructions yet. I'll bet you anything he's found it. If he has, you're in over your head. I don't really know what they're talking about. Martin, 
Hi, Greg. How are you? Is it not fabulous? Alas, I did not understand one bit what he was talking about. Elizabeth. Right. She's dying to talk to you, too, Greg. <laughs> Elizabeth. My heart lives like a gazelle to see you back again. Okay. Wait. I have a smashing idea. Martin. Kiev String Quartet plays at the consulate on Thursday night. You will be my guest. I wouldn't know how to repay you. <laughs> Martin. Now that our countries are such good friends, will finally be able to do occasional favor for me. Gregor, you are shameless. <laughs> I'll see you Thursday night. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says about the new world order. I don't trust that guy. Harmless. Let the number itself tell us. You're gonna follow him, aren't you? That's what we do. How's the audio? Good. Mother's pretty close. He's just wearing four safety belts this time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's so funny that they call him mother. Yeah, sounds like he's making something, but no little black box. It's got to be there somewhere. He's going to type in his password, and we're going to get a clear shot. Oh, Dr. Rishkoff. Could he... Let's get an idea on Dr. Oh, Rishkoff. Yes. She was with him at the lecture this afternoon. She was trying to tell him something. Oh, let's do what we did in Mexico City. I didn't know you could do that in Mexico City. Oh. Mr. Bishop, do you mind if I take oh. a look? Oh, oh that... Oh. That's fast. I must. My work. Okay. Oh. Back to work. I'm sorry, really. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of... Oh, she's in the way. I don't believe this. I'm sorry. It's just I have this work. <laughs> I give you something to work, baby. <laughs> Do you think she's playing him? Oh. What's going on? So is he Russian? Elena, really? I must finish my work. Maybe there's a frame or two where she doesn't block it. I'll blow it up. Whatever that is. Enhance. Enhance. Oh. Uh, sorry. There. I leave a message here on service, but you do not call. A. Okay, that's definitely WG. Definitely not. No, that's a V. <laughs> Janet's little black box is on his desk between the pencil jar and the lamp. I hate to tell you this, but you're blind. Play the tape back again. Don't look. Listen. Wait, what? Wait, what? He's got a service. What's he need an answering machine for? There's our little black box. This LTX-71 concealable mic is part of the same system that NASA used when they faked the Apollo moon landings. <laughs> I love he's a conspiracy theorist. Did my wife drop a cake off for me? I will cake. There's no cake there. Uh, there she is, late as usual. Okay, well, it states right here very clearly that I am to deliver 36 boxes of liquid drainage Look. to this here address. There's no I special interest. I can't reach my car. Well, well, Could you, you buzz all this stuff right Could here? You buzz it? I can't reach my car. Thanks. Ooh. That. He was arguing just to make a. Oh, they've got this figured out. Anybody remember how to defeat an electronic keypad? Don't even joke about that, Martin. Those things are <gasps> impossible. Think I'm joking? Just put it in. Oh, boy. An old buddy of mine who was in Desert Storm sent it to me. Of course, he was on the other side. Come on, Crease. There's got to be a way around these things. This might work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> that worked. Got it. Gunther, hello. Oh, hey, nice Excuse to see you. Excuse me. Um, oh. Who the hell is that? Oh. Battle stations. Oh. I'm going to remove my hand now. Please do not scream. I promise nothing is going to happen to you. Oh. Who are you? You're a private investigator. Oh. I'm a private investigator. Who hired you? Mrs. Janik. There is not Mrs. Janik. <sighs> That's what you think. Who do you think paid for your little love job to Mexico City? Good one. She lives in Montreal, where she handles her family's real estate holdings. She supports Gunter, but figured he was cheating on her, and that's why she hired me. I'll kill him. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 wait. No! Said, no, no. We weren't here. We didn't talk. You don't know me. Oh. You don't know anything about a wife. Oh, give me one good reason why. All right, I'll give you a reason. It's just what she would want you to do. It's just what she wants you to do. I don't understand. Me neither. My client is a vindictive, bitter woman. She's been withholding marital favors from Gunther for many, many years, and now she's out to ruin him. And she's using you, me to get to her, you. I know, I know that's confusing, but don't you see what's happening here? You and me, we're just pawns in this ugly little game. If you love him. If you love him. Set him free. Then just keep on keep loving him. Keep on loving him. Keep on loving him. Now get out of here.
like this team. <laughs> What's his specialty again? Well, it's you and Cosmo, you're taking all of these chances, all these big chances. What for? How are the people? You didn't get caught. You lost the coin flip. I went out for pizza, then I went to Canada. Woo! I was lucky, he wasn't. Did he ever forgive you? I hope so. He died in prison. What are you guys gonna do with your share of the money? We have never been to Europe together. Madrid, Lisbon. Athens. I've never actually had a really cool car that I could fit comfortably into. <laughs> Water bed. Water bed. I'd like to have a deep relationship with a beautiful woman who knocked from the very first time her eyes me. <laughs> well, you know, someone like Liz. Definitely not getting paid that much. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 Whistler. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. <laughs> right on. And women. All right. All right. Here. What does it say where this is? Hold on a second here. System out. System. I really think you should leave that thing alone. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see something. Don't worry, Don. Right dead in my eyes. C-Tech. What? C-Tech astronomy. I just love it when a man says that to me. C-Tech doesn't mean anything. What? Excuse me. C-Tech astronomy. Does Monterey's coast mean anything you guys no carl get the diagnostics what? how about my socrates note uh -huh. c-tech astronomy why would no i <laughs> do we touch this thing uh -huh. give me another one he's a secret genius maybe not secret What was that? Go back one. Holy cow. What is it? Too many secrets. Too many secrets. Give me the number for something impossible to access. Federal Reserve Transfer Node, Culpeper, Virginia. Dear heavens. <sighs> Look at this place. Anybody want to shut down the Federal Reserve? Hey, hey, don't wait, screw wait, around wait, with wait, that wait, thing. Please. National power grid. Who has too many secrets? <sighs> Air traffic control system. Let's not. Oh my God. Cryptography systems are based on mathematical problems so complex they cannot be solved without a key. Janik must have figured out a way to solve those problems. But he want to crash a couple of passenger jets. I said turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. So it's a code breaker. It's the code breaker. We are going to institute some security around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is where I get off. Don't take this personally, Liz. You were the only one who knew Martin's secret. Somebody talk. So make yourself comfortable. We're all staying right here tonight. I'm getting my bag. Uh-oh. And I'm leaving. So relax, Chris. I'll relax when we get that damn thing out of here. Until then, you stay. There isn't a government on this planet that wouldn't kill us all for that thing. True. Lock everything Let's down, doors and windows. That. Then kill the light. You bet. I thought for sure they were going to use it for their gain before handing it off. I really enjoyed sleeping with all you guys. Take care. Bye, Oof. I hope the handoff goes well. I'd hate for you to have something new to run from. Good, they went together. Oh my gosh. Those jeans are so cute. Wait a second. What if these guys aren't really NSA? Morning. Want a cappuccino? No. My heart is beating so fast. Telephone! Oh, so Janik is dead? Get in the car. Now! What the hell are you doing? Janik's dead. They killed him. The NSA doesn't kill people, Martin. You said it last night. There isn't a government on Earth that wouldn't kill for that thing. Not ours. Who were those guys? There's one way to find out. Oh! <gasps> Wait a second. 
took away my home. That was a very elaborate con. The NSA never had an office in San Francisco. They're they West got Coast. played. They probably were government, just not ours. Everybody pack up whatever you can. Place isn't safe. Holy crap. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to a concert. Gregory. Oh my gosh. The con man got conned. Keep smiling. Darling, would you excuse me for a moment? Oh. That got into the very wrong hands. You use me. You set me up, Greg. No, I do not believe you. We had nothing to do with this. Your codes are entirely different from ours. Never had any luck in breaking them. So Lord knows I wanted that box. But we did not take it. Then who did? You think Janik would have had that in a way safer safe? I cannot tell you in this building. You must trust me. I don't think he does. You guys still keep tabs on all our agents. These are just the ones we thought we could turn. That's him. <gasps> a loathsome man named Buddy DeVries. A.K.A. Buddy Weber, Buddy Wallace. <laughs> Wallace. We tried to recruit him in 83. Drinking problem, married three times. Who does he work for? Oh, my. What? You disappeared once before, my friend. I suggest you do it again. Who's he working for? Your FBI is such a pain in the ass. Who's he working for? I can offer you asylum inside this car. Technically, it's part of the consulate. Do you wish our protection? What? Who is Wallace working for? Mr. Bishop, please step out of the vehicle. Do you wish our protection? Get out of the vehicle now. You won't know who to trust. Just tell him who he's working for. Hands on the wall, sir. Is this loaded? Yes. <gasps> uh... Too many secrets. <gasps> what the heck? Who does he work for? They killed him. They killed Gregory. Do we go out fighting? Oh, I feel close, so claustrophobic. I can hardly stand it. What are you doing up? Hate that guy. Oh, goodness. Pain. Dry aspirin. Cosmo. I'm sorry if he hurt you. Cosmo died in prison? Cosmo, what, what happened? The world changed on us, Marty, without our help. What happened? To you. There I was in prison. One day I help a couple of nice older gentlemen make some free telephone calls. They turn out to be, let us say, good family men. Organized crime? <laughs> it's not that organized. Like mobsters? And I begin to perform a variety of services. We organize their entire financial operation. And the whole network is protected by very powerful encryption systems. But if the feds get Janik's box? Disaster. We must have it. To protect the organization? Yes. I don't buy it. God, it's good to see you. We were going to change the world, Marty. Did you ever get around to actually doing it? No, <gasps> I guess not. I think I can. This has really taken a turn. When I was in prison, I learned that everything in this world, including money, operates not on reality, but the perception real. People think a bank might be financially shaky. Consequence, people start to withdraw their money. Result, pretty soon it is financially shaky. Conclusion, make banks fail. Psst. I've already done that. Stock market? Yes. Currency market? Yes. I might even be able to crash the whole damn system. No more rich people, no more. Poor people, everybody's the same. Isn't that what we said we always wanted? A race record of everything? No one has money? Where are we? Tomorrow they will retrieve your fingerprints from the gun that killed a Russian consular officer. Of course, no one knows where Martin Bryce is, but what if this indicated an alias? Don't do it, cause Pain, try prison. More secrets, Marty. Oh, I thought he was on our side. So now the FBI is gonna find him. Oh. I've had a bad night. I'm sorry. Paper said that Greg was killed. I called your number and someone else answered. I didn't recognize the voice. I can't do this alone, Liz. I'm, I'm spiraling. We have to meet. We turn ourselves in now? They'll give us 20 years in the electric chair. You think I like it?
But I've got a family. We have no other choice. Yes, we do. We make the call, but we make it our way. Thanks. Nice apartment. She does love him. I'm going to bounce this call through nine different relay stations throughout the world and off two satellites. Now, this will measure stress in the voice of the person on the other end of the line. Let's do it. Who are we calling again? Fort Meade, Maryland. Good afternoon. Uh, National Security Agency. Director of Operations, please. What extension, please? Uh, I'm sorry, I forget the number. Uh, could I please have Director of Operations? It's very important. What extension, please? Give me research. It's an emergency. I need an extension or a name. SeaTech Astronomy. Who is this, please? It's my dime. I'll ask the questions. Who are you? Say my name is Mr. Abbott. True. Are you interested in Sea Tech astronomy? I'm interested in all kinds of astronomy. I need to know if you're someone who can make a deal. Can you deal? Yes. True. True. Air cross transcom. You've got about 20 seconds, bitch. If I come in with what I know, can you guarantee my safety? You have the item. No. 15 seconds. Can you guarantee my safety? <laughs> Five seconds. Yes, I can guarantee your safety. Fish, he's lying. He's lying. Hang up, Fish. He's lying. He's lying. Hang up. Oh. There's got to be a way to cut a deal with those guys. If we had the box, yes. Without it, no. I don't know where it is, remember? What did it sound like? They threw me in a trunk, drove around in circles. It could be 100 miles away. It could be underground. It could be in a sky rise. Forget it. What did it sound like? The road. When you were in the trunk, what, what did the road sound like? Highway, a regular highway. Wasn't he knocked out for all of it? Bridge, yeah. Four bridges in the Bay Area. Did you hear a foghorn? No. Crash the golden gate. That leaves the... What did it sound like? Did you go through a tunnel in the middle? No. Whistler is... It's all well, that leaves two. San Mateo and Dunbar. Outside Martin. of the box. Blower. There was a recurring sound. Like seams in the concrete. But further apart. Yeah. A man with a very special set of skills. Okay. And then what did you hear? Cocktail party. What? I drove through what sounded what sounded like a cocktail party. It was chattering. It was right at the end. Now we gotta look for a <laughs> cocktail party. Stay on Crescent. Get off the reservoir. There's a cocktail party at the reservoir. Yeah. Where's this road go? <laughs> What's behind the hill? Private property. That's our guy. They're gonna have amazing security. We have to be careful. Forget it, it's a toy company. It's laser fencing. It's high voltage on the perimeter. It's Cosmo, I know it. Toy company's a front. That's a bathroom. Second floor, Northwest 3. Uh, that's an emergency. How does he do that? How do you know that? I can hear the emergency floodlight batteries recharging. Chris, what's this mean? My voice is my passport, verify me. Some sort of voice print ID. I'll check it out. What am I listening to now, Mother? Third floor, Southwest corner. Oh, it's bursting with ultrasonic. I've never heard sensors that powerful before. They keep the lights on all night, so we have to assume the sensors are on, too. It's fascinating what 50 bucks can get you at the county recorder's office. Blueprints? The complete blueprints. Not bad. Where'd you get the 50 bucks? I took it from your mother's wallet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It's called a man trap. It's a uh, digital voice recognition monitor hooked up to an access booth. Voice technology? Now speak right into this box. My name is Martin Bishop. My voice is my passport. Verify me. You can't pass through unless your voice print matches the one encoded on the card. Can we beat this with tape? Has to be up close and personal. I think we found our guy. A lady in a green skirt and this guy with the cap. Nobody comes out for another 18 minutes. So it's one of those two. Right. Now here's the next evening. The office next to Cosmos, lights go out. The guy in the cap, nobody else comes out for 22 minutes. Good, okay, we'll use his office to get into Cosmos. Can we get plates? <laughs> Zooming in. Enhance. Enhancing. There's your plate, 180 IQ. Cute. Werner Brandis, single, 6'1", 174 pounds. He leaves work between 6 and 7 every night, takes the same route home, he obeys the speed limit, and signals when he changes lanes. He's a very safe driver. <laughs> no bad debts, no bum checks. But 180 IQ, guys. How the hell are we going to get close enough to record him? Sorry, Liz. Standard procedure, crash from the guy's house. <laughs> Club Med brochure. We need a light bulb moment, guys. Here we go. Dear com computator, welcome to the world of automated compatibility. 
He's a computer dater. Let's get him a date. What was the name of that gal that we did the using on the serial company? Forget it. I heard a cop. The man who folded this tube of crest is looking for someone meticulous, refined, anal. <laughs> He's a computer dater. Oh. Hi. Are you ready for the dim sum bar? Oh, I'm not really in any hurry. I'll be right back. Oh, I see. How exactly do you pronounce it? This is what's in Cosmo's office. We can raise the temperature in Cosmo's office to 98.6 degrees. Since when am I the one? The that same model answering machine that Janik used for the shell of his box. Now that's what you'll be carrying across the floor at two inches per second. I got that for you because I figured you'd, you know, just want to practice. Remember to go real slow. <laughs> slow. So what about travel? Where do you like to go? I think they want us to leave. Sit down, Morgan. <laughs> Talk to me. I really love the sound of your voice. I always thought it was kind of nasal and pinched. <laughs> and um, there's this one word. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you wouldn't. No, no I would. I, I would. Never what? mind. No. What? I would really like to hear you say the word passport. Passport? Oh. <laughs> uh, Doris, would you like to have breakfast with me? Sure, fine. Shall I phone you or nudge you? Check, please. Poor Werner. Hi, my name is Werner Brandis. My voice is my passport. Verify me. He can that, right? <sighs> Too close for comfort. Is that the garden? I thought they already left. I guess not. Oh. So now our motive is cutting a deal. Cutting a deal with the FBI. Uh-oh. Uh, listen, a few minutes ago, a gardener came. Skip it, I see him. Oh, so smart. Okay, fellas, I'm out of here. Carl, have a nice ride. Oh, they do think of everything. We're raising the temperature of the office. <laughs> the best thing about this meal, besides it's absolutely Fabulous. It only has 400 calories. Oh, great. Well, what would you say is the ideal diet? Don't laugh. It's the bottom of a monkey cage. I'm sorry, what did you say? Take a look at the bottom of a monkey cage. Excuse? You have, fr you have fruit, you have greens. Oh, poor Liz. <laughs> Take him over the team. Are we doing this right now? I didn't get a montage of him getting better and better. Oh, why not a better disguise? Hey, here we go. Martin, we've got video. Oh, boy. Hi, my name is Winifred. Hi, my name is Werner Brandis. My voice is my passport. Verify. <gasps> I wanted to see more practice. There's a three-foot area in the corner just outside the sensor's range. Carl, how's the weather? 98.6 and holding. Go. He's too old for this, Niz, remember? Once again, I am so sorry about dinner. No, it was really delicious. That's cute. Watch. Watch this. Play dead. Great. <laughs> I just make a quick phone call? Go upstairs, and then you walk straight forward. <laughs> One is a closet. Look what you've done to Doris's purse. Oh, crap. Mm. Oh, crap. What do you say we go for a ride? So far, so good. Is the real Werner going to wreck everything right now? Werner just pulled up. He's got Liz with him. I think you better hurry. 
Do we think it's booby trapped? This phone is involved in some really kind of a plot to break into nice my office. Hold it. Hold it. See, you know. took what? my entry Where, what, card. What is it? Is it? Sir, we have a problem. We have a problem. Let's take a look at his office. Those guys are just there? Oh, fricker. Uh, move, 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 move. Well, uh, everything seems to be in order. Does it? Yes, sir. Very sorry to have troubled you, miss. Not as sorry as I am. This is my last computer, Dave. Wait. Computer matched her with him? I don't think so. Marty. Oh, wow. Just find the heating ducts above the furnace. That'll get him to the elevator. That'll lead you to the elevator chase. I'm in Northeast 3 over the corridor. It's a dead end. Don't move. We got guards in every stairwell. Can you hear if there's any? Uh oh. Oh no. This is Wallace. I'm in Northeast 3, gonna check it out. Wallace! Oh, Martin, no. we lost. Don't do that. Marty, I know you are in the building and I know you can hear me. <gasps> you should not have come back, Marty. You always had to be the one to win. You were the one who got away with things while I never did. Get the girl. Oh no, he's gonna use Liz. So I never did. At least not until now. Marty, please bring me the box. You must know. They will never hurt either of you, Liz, if you try to get out. Who's they? <sighs> I cannot kill you. You have to trust me. Guys, I'm going in. So you have my box. We have a deal. Wait a minute. Damn it, you give me your word! I cannot kill my friend. Kill my friend. Stomp the box! You didn't really think we were gonna let you go, did you? You didn't really think I was gonna let you have this box, did you? Now. What are you talking about now? Carl, now! where I can see him and step out of the van. Do they have Whistler? They've got Crease and Mother. You gotta drive. I'll talk you through it. Now hurry. To drive what? Oh, I forgot he was blind for one second. He's gonna drive. Did I ever tell you why I had to leave the CIA? My temper. <laughs> Mess with me, I'll split your head. <laughs> Fish? I'm going backwards. <gasps> that would be so terrifying. Oh, what was that? Okay, keep coming. It's okay. Brakes, 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 brakes. You're gonna go down a very gentle slope. Oh, okay, fine, great, no problem. Stop. Well, I think I'll stop right here. <gasps> Marty! Would you step away from the ladder? Hold the box out like this. That's all he cares about. No. Jesus! Take the goddamn thing! I don't want it! You win, I lose! That's what you want, isn't it? Say it! Say it! Yes! I'm sorry, cuz. Could have had the power. I don't expect other people to understand this, but I do expect you to understand this. We started this journey together. It wasn't a journey, cuz. It was a prank. There's a war out there, old friend. And it's not about who's got the most bullets. It's about who controls the information. It's all about the information. He's not wrong. Don't go. You do what you have to do, cuz. But if you want to stop me, you'll have to pull the trigger. He's going to give him the fake box. Run, Marty, run. OK, 
Okay. I think we shouldn't give it to our government either. We believe that we pulled off the greatest sneak in history and we can't tell anybody about it. Not one word. Step over here. Hands up your head. I'm Bernard Abbott, National Security Agency. The real one? I believe you have something that belongs to me. James Earl Jones. I thought the FBI was supposed to do this kind of thing. This is outside the NSA's jurisdiction. I keep thinking about something Greg told me. He said that our codes were based on an entirely different system than the Russian codes. So this box really wouldn't work on them. The only thing it'd really be good for is spying on Americans. What do you want, Mr. Bishop? Clear up my record. Get out of my life. I don't have much choice, do I? Not unless you want to read about it in Newsweek. Deal, the box. Not so fast. I want a Winnebago. What? <laughs> Waterbed, AM, FM, CD, microwave. It's not a car dealership, pal. He wants a Winnebago. All right, a Winnebago. Uh, I have never taken my wife to Europe. I'm sorry to hear it. Give me the box. You will buy me two round trip first class tickets to Athens, Lisbon, Madrid, and Scotland. Fine. The young lady with the Uzi, she single. All right, yeah, Carl, excuse us. Yeah. I just want a telephone number. Please. You can have anything you want, and you're asking for my phone number. Yes. Two seven three nine one six four. I'm Carl. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I want peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Oh, this is ridiculous. We don't do that sort of thing. His voice. Just gonna have to try. All right, I'll see what I can do. What do you want? Oh, I'm fine. May I have the box? Ask for some money or something. You know it doesn't work. It never did. That's not important, is it? What's really important is that none of this ever happened. I never saw it before. Remember that. All you did was say it was broken. Can't they still just hook it up and do terrible things with it? Nope. In a surprise announcement, the Republican National Committee has revealed it is bankrupt. Spokesman for the party said they had plenty of money in their accounts last week, but today they just don't know where the money has gone. But not everybody's going begging. Amnesty International, Greenpeace, and the United Negro College Fund announced record earnings this week, <laughs> mostly to large anonymous donations. <laughs> oh my goodness that was so fun hey i think i really like heist movies that was like oceans it was like the everyday man oceans like less polished and sexy but kind of but still sexy because robert redford in those 90s fits so good. I loved it. I loved the hacking and the con men getting conned and I loved the characters and the team and the skills. I loved all the actors and I had so much fun. I love a smart, detailed plan that all comes together. I feel like this was ahead of its time with the hacking and the control of information. It reminded me of that one mission in Possible, the news guy. Oh my gosh, is that who that was? The blind guy, was he the news guy? I'm not, not Mission Impossible, Bond. I think that was. Loved Robert Redford, loved the movie. Just got why it was called Sneakers. I was like, what? There was no sneakers. I thought it was gonna be like stealing like a prized pair of retro Jordans or something, but they called it Sneaks. Like they, they did Sneaks. Three, okay. Okay, um, thank you all so much for watching along with me. I'll see you again soon. Do I need to watch The Thomas Crown Affair now? Because heists are fun. Okay, bye.